Is President Hamid Ansari's visit to Cambodia and Laos aimed at further boosting India's economic engagement with the two nations and with the ASEAN region? The Vice President travelled to Cambodia on the first leg of his trip. He held wide-ranging talks with Prime Minister Hun Sen, following which two MOUs were signed, one on tourism and the other on quick impact projects. Under the MOU on quick impact projects, there are four projects, two in healthcare, one on women's empowerment through information and communication technology, and one on agriculture. The Vice President travelled to Siem Reap and visited Angkor Wat, the world's largest Hindu temple complex. He also visited the Tha Prom Temple and the Mekong Ganga Textile Museum in Siem Reap, which was set up with India's assistance. The Mekong Ganga Cooperation was established in the year 2000 at Vientiane, Laos. It comprises six member countries, namely India, Thailand, Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam. They emphasized four areas of cooperation which are tourism, culture, education and transportation linkage. In his second leg of the visit, Vice President Hamid Ansari travelled to Laos, the first visit by an Indian Vice President to the country. He held talks with his Laotian counterpart, Bonhang Vorachit. India and Laos signed two MOUs, including one on quick impact projects and another on air services agreement. The air services agreement allows airlines from both countries to operate direct flights between them. The Vice President also called on Laos President Chomali Sauson and met Prime Minister Thong Singh Tamawong. He also visited the Thot Luang Stupa, which has a relic from Buddha that was brought from India in the 2nd century BC. During his visits to both Cambodia and Laos, the Vice President emphasized on the importance India attaches to forging close ties with the ASEAN nations, in particular with CLMB countries, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar and Vietnam. The Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, comprises Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand and Vietnam. With Bureau Inputs, Tejinder Singh's report, DD News. Let's now get to some sports.